Hey folks, uh, welcome down to the man cave, Mr. Duff Factor's haven. Um, today we're going to do a short little video clip uh, for those of you watching uh, Mr. Rojo Next Channel. Um, know that uh, I have fallen. <laughs> I've fallen for La Fonda. A Peggy over here. Nice, steady Peggy that's always there, whatever you need her. And then you've got La Fonda. Um, I have to admit I love this bike. I absolutely love this bike. But um, today what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a short video clip of how to uh, change the fuel map and the ignition map uh, on a bike like this, how quick and easy it is. Um, Y'all can tell I'm a Metallica fan, I've got to have music while I work down here in the shop, but I'm going to basically just really quickly step through and show how easy it is to change the way these motors run. And uh, there's another forum that I participate on for those people who are having a little bit of you know, trouble getting set up and going. I've got my laptop down here plugged into the uh, wall. I've got uh, La Fonda here that's plugged in uh, to the battery charger. And I'm basically just going to uh, come around and show you what we do. And I'll probably turn the videotape off while I'm doing this. But basically, first thing we're going to do is uh, show you here. We have uh, just a regular standard uh, Dell laptop running Windows XP. I'll turn this down just for a little bit. And uh, we're going to hook the uh, laptop into the brain of the Fonda. So basically, the first step is you just take the key, you just simply uh, come down here and take the seat off and uh, set that aside. Now you're going to see uh, this right here is the anti lock braking system box. There's two screws, one here, one here. We're going to take those out real quick. We're going to take the cover off and we're going to show you where the plug is to plug this baby in. Uh, we're going to do another video later on some other stuff we're going to take care of inside of here, but um, basically that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to set this back while I uh, get ready to roll on this. Get the cable and get ready to do a little uh, brain work on the Fonda here. screws. Now uh, let me show you what this looks like. Here is the anti-lock braking system and right here is the plug you're looking for. There's only three wires coming out of it. Um, it's kind of a, a yellow. I think it's gray and red. I'm colorblind but it's just got a little cap cover right here. So we're going to take that off takes a second to do it. With one hand it's a little tough. I'll need both hands probably to do it. And then I'm going to show you this is the cable. This is CJ Designs cable. This end right here is going to plug into that. You've got a little OB2 section right here. And on the other end is a very simple USB connection. So I'm going to do that real quick. Plug it into the computer and we'll pull up the software which is uh, called Tune ECU. Tune ECU. And those of you who have been working with this know that this is some killer software. Uh, give Alan uh, some kudos for what he's done. It's a great piece of software for those of us back there mechanic guys. So uh, this is off now. It only goes in one way. Plug her in, take the other side, plug it into my USB port, and we load up to an ECU. Now at the same time, while this is going, starting to load up on the computer, I'm going to take the key, put it in the ignition, don't turn it on yet. 
I like to wait till uh, tune ECU is up. I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, here's a typical fueling map. Now this map is one that uh, I was just recently playing with. It's an Acropovic map. I've uh, opened up the second throttle blades uh, to about 20 to 25 percent. Switch over here so you can kind of see that. Uh, probably can't see the numbers very well, but at 1450 RPM, the throttles are open at 20 percent. Secondary throttles, that is, until you get to about 10 to 15 percent throttle opening, and then I've opened up to 25 percent from there on up. And just gradually increased them. Now what I've done with this map is I've reduced the fueling everywhere by 1%, uh, which uh, is kind of leaning it out a little bit, but some of the complaints of this Acropovic map is that it's too rich, and I noticed that on my bike I think it was too. So that's the map that's in here right now, and that's the one I'm going to load onto the computer. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to the bike, turn the key on. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention, you can take the... Uh, Underneath here is the uh, fuses. There's a 15 amp fuse here right at the very end. Second one in to turn the headlight off. You want to make sure that that's done. Now we're on. So what's going to happen is I'm going to come up here to uh, ECU at the top of the page. Click on that. I'm going to come down and click on connect. Now down here in the lower right hand corner the little flashing light there, when it turns green, it's connected. In fact, I think it's connected right now. It's just flashing a little bit. Sometimes it does that. I'm going to check up here on the ECU, and yep, it's connected. So, now, it seems crazy, but what we're going to do is we're going to load this map onto the, onto the ECU. So you're going to come up over here to ECU, and you can go down and select Download. And hit download and it gives you a little warning you can screw up blow your motor up if you do this wrong but I think we're okay so I'm gonna click OK across the bottom you're gonna see this bar going across it saying now it's 30 percent all the way up and it's just about loaded okay download is done that's it now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna disconnect Okay, so I've disconnected from the uh, disconnected from the um, bike now. I'm actually going to close this down because I'd already worked on that map before. I know it's what I want. I'm going to close her down. Then I'm going to come over here, simply disconnect my plug. And uh, I'm going to put the dummy back on, or basically the cover. You guys can see that this is seriously easy. I mean, it took longer to get it ready than it did to change the map. Put that back down. I'm gonna set this over here, get the screws put in there. I mean, uh, no uh, taking carburetors apart, no taking the air box off, no thinking around with uh, fuel spilling everywhere because you have to take the fuel lines off. Um, not having to take the tank off. I mean, it's just that easy to change the, the mixture on this thing. Seriously, it takes longer to take this cover off than it does to actually hook up the computer and change the map. So, Go. Put the 15 views back in. Turn the bike off. And uh, I'm going to get ready for a little 15 minute idle up. So, uh, yeah, you can reset it on the computer. I just like. Um, Pulling the bike outside, let it idle for 15 minutes. I know there's a lot of controversy, people saying, oh, you don't need to do that, just ride it. It doesn't hurt, it's 15 minutes, you know, I can clean the shop a little bit while we're doing that. So, 
Uh, anyway, so for those of you guys who are wondering how you use Tune ECU to plug in your KTM 990, change your fuel maps, uh, that's how you do it. I mean, it's really that quick. There's a little settings on the computer, but uh, the forums can kind of walk you through that part. But uh, lots of fun, folks. Uh, got a ride coming up in St. George here in mid-March. Uh, Hoping to hook up with uh, Everide. Hope to see you down there, man. And uh, Mr. Rojo Neck and my brother-in-law, Craigo, we're all going down. So anybody who wants to come, we'd love to have you. Uh, Nighty night here, La Fonda.